lion is known as the king of the jungle. And while the animals once roamed the earth in the Holy Land, what happened to them? While ferocious felines like these can't be seen in the wild in modern Israel today, you could once see more of them in the Holy Land. And it's here where the majestic animals which roar had quite the reputation. The strong creatures have been a symbol of courage, power, and holiness. And they're known from their stories in the holy books, with the Hebrew Bible mentioning lions over 150 times. The significance of the lion in the Bible, the tremendous significance, has to do with its stature as the king of beasts. It's not necessarily the uh, biggest animal, but in terms of the pre being a predator, certainly the top predator. One of the holy texts where lions are mentioned as a powerful predator is the book of Daniel, which tells the famous story about Daniel when he refuses to follow a new law that people could only worship and pray to their king. Daniel is thrown into the lion's den, but despite that, he emerges unharmed. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Another well-known story about the majestic creatures is when Judah's father Jacob blessed him and called him a lion cub, as mentioned in the book of Genesis. The tribe of Judah is compared to a lion. And that's again uh, reflecting back to the idea of the lion being the king of beasts. So because Judah was the tribe from which the royalty would emerge, so the lion has come to symbolize Judah. And that carries through even today, where Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel, and the symbol of Jerusalem is the lion. In Jerusalem, you might gaze at the strong creature because Jerusalem was the capital of the kingdom of Judah and home to the tribe of Judah. But lions were also at times Times used for something much greater. With findings at the Israel Museum, such as these lion statues in the Holy Land, shedding light on a mysterious aspect of the animal's role in society. They were part of the architecture, probably, of an ancient temple uh, in the city of Hazor uh, around the 14th century BC. These uh, lions are, in particular, we think that they were used as protectors, guardians of the temple. They were not just merely random decoration of the building, but actually had supernatural powers, perhaps. But the magnificent creature would meet its end here, with a significant decrease in the size of the population believed to have taken place around the time of the Crusades. And today, thousands of miles away, in India's Gir Forest, there are only several hundred Asiatic lions, the species native to Israel, which remain in the wild. But while lions became extinct in Israel, the creature with beauty and physical prowess didn't completely vanish. In fact, they're here at the Jerusalem Zoo as part of a conservation program. We have three lions at the moment. Uh, we have a, a male, a lion, and a female lioness and their cub, which is already over one year old. The male or lion is called Gir, the female is called Yasha, and their son is called Jaya. The conservation program where lions are spread out has the goal of preventing Asiatic lions from becoming extinct in case the population faces issues including disease in places like the Gear Forest where many are located and also aims to maintain genetic diversity. But with the lack of natural habitat, the roaring question of whether Asiatic lions will ever be able to return to the wild still remains. 